Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here, and this is How to Minecraft. And this episode, we continue part two of the world tour with Choco. Although in terms of world tour, it's more just my house than his. So if you missed part one yesterday, we went down memory lane and uh, we looked at all the old houses that I had on the server and we got into a little bit of a mess, Choco and I. So it's a pretty funny episode. So if you missed that, go watch that first. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of How to Minecraft. If you do make sure you drop a like on the video and without further ado, enjoy. Thank you very much for, for letting me show you how I live my everyday how to Minecraft life. Unless you want to take a quick little peek schedules at what I have so far. I do. I could do that real quick. Let's see it. But wait, we might have to wait, wait for the... Yeah. yeah, I'm going to wait for the villagers then. I just want to share this with you. You've come just... into acquisition of what? No, obviously, I didn't want these back, but... Take a look. Okay. Feast your eyes. Oh, I can't touch it. I'll steal them. <laughs> I can't look directly at it. It'll start luring me. Too bright. Oh, man. The dream, though. Like, one of my oldest Minecraft goals. Is that, is that a recent feat of yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't too long ago. Like, maybe a week and a half or so. But, oh, oh. Anyways, Tyler, as with every great villager start, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, as, as kind of the uh, pioneer in villager technologies, yeah, I thought it would only be fitting that I give you a housewarming present for your villagers. Another? All right. Now, don't go spending it all at once. Uh-oh. Oh, gee whiz. What are you doing, Choco? Don't spend it all at once, but you know, there's that, and... Oh my wow. How do I even... What do I do, what do, I do with this? You can trade. Um, that, well, that way you don't have to like keep on grinding stuff. You can just trade for garbage stuff and you can keep on going. Oh my gosh. You... Uh, hey, yeah. he transformed. <laughs> he hand me the stack of emerald blocks and he turns into a villager instantly. <laughs> He's like, oh baby, I want the money, please. Oh man, oh this is a fisherman. Wow, that's insane. You're you are a gentleman and a scholar, Wait, Chaka. A fisherman? Yeah, this guy's this guy's a fisherman right here. No, he's good. This is a this is a farmer type. Counts as a farmer, right? Okay. So you can use him for. Excellent. Uh, Wait, this one is a Fletcher as well. This guy's good too. Oh, I thought I I thought I literally needed farmers. Mm mm. It's anyone that has a brown coat. Oh, okay. I've been ready for a long time then. Dang it. Oh boy. Yes, that's right. I just realized I never officially showed that on my episode. We have 64 diamond blocks officially. Whoa. Well, now I, I, sh I show I show them most of them, and then yeah, a couple other things happened. Kenny came by. He rounded off the five that I needed. The two diamond blocks from the chocobo art actually is part of that stack. Cleric. Clerics are okay actually. Depends on the rates. And the location. If it's in the Nether above the. Uh... <laughs> bedrock then they're great if they're right below a zombie pikmin farm and then yes they are pretty much the greatest thing that you could ever have toolsmith and a shepherd those were my four friends not one white coated stupid that's all i care about in this world is books not for reading of course oh you mean you want more librarians yeah i think it'd be good for i mean you probably know what each villager is great for, but I just usually use them for book trades. No, 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 you're right. The librarians are the major thing. Um, your life will change once you get your uh, smithies, though. Oh, yeah, because you can buy pre-enchanted uh, tools, and does it not count as a Oh, silly, Tyler. What? It's okay. You are young. <laughs> you are very young. <laughs> One day you will understand the ways of the villager and how they make you super OP on servers. I guess so, but for the time being, I don't know any better. I'm going to have to have a look over at Balam at some point or another. Well, all these villagers are healed if you want to show me your destiny of truth. All right, let's go. Let's do it. I got to put these somewhere safe real quick, though. My face one, I have to eat a notch apple for hunger again. Dad, come it. I have food. I already ate a notch apple. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? Oh, we have to go through the crazy way, huh? Oh, yeah. Did you like the cobblestone generator, by the way? I did like it. It was nice. I saw yours and I was like, you know, the Tyler. last. Tyler, 
It's been listen, months. Like, listen, it listen, hurts. listen. The last one I made, the last one I made, was like two years ago when I was playing Skyblock. Okay, there weren't even such a thing as repeaters. I don't think when I made mine. Shake my head. Whatever. <laughs> oh, stream chats like Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Street. Uh, it's because it's, it's like literally Balam and Quake Horrors. Just we we have done too much. We have we have gone too far. <laughs> we have pushed the borders of ethics and scientific breakthrough. We can be built. Oh, <gasps> you have a tabby cat. And his name is Pain. Mhm. Mm because she was a real pain to get. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where are you headed? How'd you get out from here? Oh, this way. <laughs> this is oh, what I, really? This is what I mean. Here's how I have to get back to Crossroads every time I want to go to Crossroads. A button on the ground? That just blew well, my look, mind. Well, look. See that? Where's Man Cave? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I remember this. This caused a whole bunch of ruckus back in the day. Do <laughs> you know how much crap I got because of your stupid base? Do you know? What do you mean? They're like, oh, Tyler's base is like hidden. You should go find it. I spent hours looking for your stupid man cave back in the day. Really? I had no freaking clue. Like back when there was no museum, back when there was nothing. Nice. And I was like, I, I just, I, we, we all collectively, stream me, some of the people watching on YouTube, we just scanned everywhere. We, we like marked some places. We're like, oh, this is a possible location for a Tyler location. No. Like, I remember we, we started studying tree patterns. Like, it was bad. <laughs> that, it, uh, that makes me want to move again. You son of a fish, I will fight you. I am a nomad. I'm always on the run. Now, where's my freaking food? Disappear somewhere. Oh, you know what? Here. Here's something else I, I have to show you while we're in this area. You're going to laugh. Here, follow me. It's, it's real quick. It's right over here. So, as you know, I uh, sandstormed the lagoon. Mm -hmm. This is the desert I took all my sand from, and I took about 16,000 sand. Wow. <laughs> this isn't the half of it. <laughs> it goes oh. further this way. Actually, I feel your pain, Tyler. I've, yeah, I'm probably a little bit... No, oh, Tyler! <sighs> Got you. What a guy. He's too busy eating Malone's. Yeah, actually. Melons have garbage saturation. Can we have a moment to discuss how terrible melons are? It's the only everything? food I have on me. Rip. Okay, we'll get you some. Wait, where are you going? I just wanted to show you, like, the full uh, extent. <laughs> the devastation. The. What you, team Rocket? <laughs> <laughs> to protect the world, man. Nah, man. Look at this! I spent four hours! And, like, I, I used five efficiency five. I'm breaking three shovels. It was nonsense. Tyler. And then I spent I spent four hours digging it all up. I spent three hours placing it. And then I probably spent two hours redigging it up back at the lagoon because because the salt was unreal. Oh my. Well, I guess we'll okay, I'll show you the uh oop. I'll show you kind of the side thing that I've shown on YouTube already. Ooh. Oh, zombie village. Okay, well. I can't help but feel like we just did something really mean. We just took him from his family. Uh, as you call it, Taken 4, new sequel. Alright. Wait, where is... What the... Right over here. Oh. My lord. Yeah, I instantly was filled with regret the second you moved, and I was like, dang it. I can't believe I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to pull a mat. Stream! YouTube! What? Look away. Just look away. You what? <gasps> a zombie jockey. Oh. Zombie jockey? Yeah, no, no, no. The skeleton jockey. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah! Right. Uh, Tyler, real talk. Yeah? Do we want to keep this guy for the museum? You know, I tried really hard to, to get one of those. I know they're pretty rare. It's He's too far, I think. Okay. <sighs> I'm just looking at him, I'm like, I don't know, man. He, well, and there's a nice invisible spider over there, too. 
There's a, a so witch is a brewing. Choices. You know? Once there's one nearby, there there was one right outside the museum one time. I just didn't have name tags. Rip. Cry every time. That's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, don't you hit me! Nah. You are just sandstorming all over the place, players. Witches get stitches, man. All right, are we good now? Have we calmed down? No. Nope. All right. How? I'm, I literally ate rotten flesh. I just ate eight melons. Okay, stream. I don't want to hear about my screaming and how they sound super manly that it makes you quiver your lip. I just don't want to hear it. I nearly peed myself when I heard your roar. Yes, yes, we'll go with Roar. That sounds like the greatest <laughs> description of that ever. It was a mighty roar. It's a creeper behind you. Oh! <laughs> Mufasa. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. You oh, have forgotten my. yourself. Ah! All right. And now I have to run all the way back because we didn't use the cards. All right. Oh, you didn't bring Stormy. Rip. I cry every time. I have a, I have a mine cart. Should I... I mean, that's the thing. It's gonna boot you off to the salty lagoon. Oh right. Okay. I'll be over there. I'll join you in just a mo. I can't believe I'm eating rotten flesh. After all the times I've told Matt not to eat spider eyes, I'm eating rotten flesh. <laughs> I see him always munching on spider eyes, poisoning himself. It hurts me, Tyler. It hurts me to see someone on the server that has like farms and crap and nah, just eat spider eyes because it's freaking Matt and he just is like. I couldn't be bothered to go get some food. Like, <laughs> you know, I've I've heard their delicacies in some parts of no, Minecraft. They are not a delicacy anywhere. Yeah, I I wouldn't. <laughs> no. I don't think I'd ever be caught dead eating a spider eye. You'll you will be dead. Why did I just do that? What? <laughs> I know what you did. Don't you act like... Take it easy, man. I wish I had my bow right now. You son of a gun. Hey! No! You know what? No! <laughs> no, actual, real talk. Freaking, I swear, someone bantered about and hit a zombie pigman. I was ripping the nether for like a solid three days. What? That was a dark time of my life. Because like, the aggro kept on perpetuating. And nice. unfortunately for me, if they perpetuate up here, they never end. Really? So just, yeah, because like they just keep on aggroing and aggroing because they you can't. They're not below, so you can't find them. So they just kind of sit above, being really angry and just like ha like haunting you. Oh wait, here. Let's go take a look at the gold stash. Oh, I haven't boy. actually been on the farm in a while, so I actually don't know how much I have. Although apparently Kenny used it to get to level hundred. Le -le -le -le. What? Yeah. Wow. Well, admittedly. He has a TBNR, so I don't particularly mind one way or the other, but literally, literally, and I do get a fair payout for anyone that does it, so what do I care? Not bad. Yeah, I've, I've had a look, but only from below. Oh, Tyler. Oh, Tyler. When I was building your hallway, though, I, s I wanted to see if you were up here. <laughs> You're just rolling away back and forth on your minecart. <laughs> yeah. Uh... The freaking zombie pigment every now and then chasing me. You know I'm a little nervous. Right, time. Why? I'm a little nervous as to what I'm about to witness. Don't be nervous. So where is this the chest? No, no, no. Hold on, I'm looking for. I have a food drop off here. All right, there we go. Here. Okay. I have some actual food. I literally leave emergency caches in random places just so I don't have to worry about food sometimes. Nice. All right. So here's gold chest number one, the bottom one. This. This middle one right here? Yeah, middle bottom. Okay, so that's some that's some. And nice the one above bars. it. Why? And Why? Then this one over here. <laughs> what are you doing, Choco? You're gonna crash the economy. All flesh. Flesh, flesh, nuggets, nuggets, ingots, nuggets. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Oh, and I also have two more stacks of blocks in there. What? In my e-chest. Oh, wow. How, how many days of running is that? I mean, honestly speaking, if I created, like, the proper, like, storage, 
this is that's a reduced storage for gold actually. Mm -hmm. um, if I were to do a full version of storage of gold, I could probably get that done in like a day or two. Wow, that's actually I don't know that might be a little bit much. Mm, I I would I would definitely give it like if you're playing on and off. I would give yourself about a week if you're playing. Wow. But if you're like really on point and you really want to get it done, you have the full storage system, you can do it easily. I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah, there's a lot of gold. <laughs> That's why I laughed. I was like, Lee, Lee, Lee. The, the, one of my favorite stories, oh, the fancy hallway. But um, one of my favorite stories to tell is like, Matt was talking about his beacon. Mm -hmm. And he walks, he just, he gets on Skype and he's just like, Choco, man, like, listen, I'm willing to make some trades for some gold, and then he brings over, like, oh, the diamonds or whatever. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And he's just like, yeah, man, I don't know, though. I feel really bad. Cause I'm gonna, I think I'm going to, like, just completely cash you out on gold. I just laughed. I just sat there and I laughed at him. I was like, no. No just, chance. There's just no freaking way that you're ever going to dry me out of gold. Like, I don't know what beacon you're making, but it's not any beacon I know of. <gasps> The eyes. You didn't even re wool them, Choco. Well, I was in a rush because that was the diamond episode, man. Oh, really? Yeah, because like I was literally just like crazed for it. Although, admittedly, from a distance, it actually doesn't look that bad. It looks it interesting. Because cool. like whenever it turns nighttime, it's a little bit cooler looking. But yeah, I will just replace these now. I a suppose. diamond for an eye makes the Choco blind. What? What? Because his eyes were yeah. Anyways, I'm scared. Now, I, I understand it's not going to have the same luster, but I think it's acceptable. I don't know. I think it looks good. I actually test this out on my own one day. I was like, huh. Yeah. It looks. It actually looks more, um, well, it looks more like it's a Final Fantasy, like, 9-ish thing, which is where Quays are from, so I'm actually done. Perfect. He's got his yeah. nice Santa hat to keep him warm forever. <laughs> oh, if you ever need any nether wart, by the way, feel free. Oh, thank you. I got lots. Uh, I figured. Um, let's Little see Bo here. Peep. Nice. Oh, <gasps> you found Bo Peep? Yeah, oh. right here. I, I thought it's the little pink one, right? Yeah, yeah. she's the original pinky. Oh. Oh. Oh, All right. Um, do you need any food? I've got twenty chicken. Oh uh, here. I I'm just curious. Let me. <laughs> I'll just pick my stacks out. Now, is isn't this a form of cannibalism? Again. Chocobos are not chickens. But they don't even associate with chicken. No. But no, it is a bird. No, and you are a bird. It's like saying, it's like saying, oh yeah, you eat beef. They're mammals. Okay, get ripped. <laughs> Animals. No, that's a cam mammal. I'm gonna slap you. Uh, <laughs> You're a can of bird. Oh, have you seen? Wait, have you seen the new bookstore? Not the new bookstore. I mean, maybe. Oh boy, Kevin, got Kevin here, bless. See, this is what I'm talking about with your, uh, look at this, smite, lore, efficiency, fire prot. What do you do with the, with the terrible book keepers? You just, you know, ax them, do away, never speak of them again? No, these, some of these are actually pretty bad. Um, the, um, the only one that I might add to the bookstore, I've had a really large debate about this, like, I've, yeah, I might consider adding protection to the like list of things I offer here, but I don't know. Cute, it's a very cute. tough decision to make. Well, I mean, there's an open slot right there. Yeah, I know that's literally for the protection guy, because it's it has protection on this side, efficiency five is on this side, then you have a sharpness four, and then a uh, power five. You can get at fives from yeah. Wow, you weren't. You can't kidding. get them from Smithies. You can't get them from Smithies, but you can get them from librarians. Wow. So, yeah, it's from librarians. You can roll uh, anywhere from the one to thirty range, but Smithies can only roll up to sixteen, I think. So they have like a reduced range or something How like about that. About that, you weren't kidding with. They make you OP. Uh, yeah, that, so they, that they many more enchants too. Yeah, and plus since I have a constant source of emeralds and stuff, it's fine. Here are the smithies, if you ever need to have an example, and you forget. I see. The ones that are important for smithies are, if you can find a designated toolsmith for silk and one for non, you're in good shape. One for silk and one for what? One for silk touch and one that doesn't have silk touch. Ah, okay. It nice. saves you time. And the, the main trick here is that if you put two of them in a crafting bench, not in an anvil, 
It resets the enchant. What? Toolsmith Tom is OP. Oh yeah, is he silky? Silk Silk Touch Efficiency Three Unbreaking Three. Yeah, it's not a perfect roll though, so we don't really use him. <laughs> we use him for seeds. Heavens no. And then you get diamond axes and swords from weaponsmiths, and armorsmiths can give you diamond chestplate. But there's wow. no way to get them from. There's no way to get pants, boots, or helms from loaders. Oh really? Shucks. Otherwise, I would always be running out of diamond gear. But that's why I always run an iron and then diamond chest. How about it? Mm -hmm. So you don't even. You just buy all your gear yep. from the village. Wow. Infinitely cycling armor. I don't need to worry about it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But I'll show you the keep for now. You're actually the first person to see the keep. In yeah, its I current thought, state. I thought that was what got raided. No, they got to, they went to the Overwatch, but they didn't get to see the actual keep itself. Well, I should say the keep. It's the resource collection area next to the keep. That's I really see. like. Is this what you were talking about at my house? Yes. Wait, where'd you go? Uh, this way. I don't see you. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is. It gets a little bit convoluted. All right. I need to actually fix this up, but. Cass, please don't notice me, senpai. Please don't notice me, senpai. Please don't notice me, senpai. Oh, he noticed me! Did he actually? I thought, it looked like he turned and saw me for half a second there. <laughs> He's like, hello there. You're like, oh, please. He saw my chicken. All Hungry. Right. So, there we go. And I'll just give you a rundown of where we're at in the process of everything. Alright. Uh, so, first off, I have to show you... Alvin and Chipmunk slash Alvin, Theodore, and Simon. Oh, boy. <gasps> wow. And this little cutie, Simon. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Simon started swagging out. It was not our intention. And I'm not very happy about it, but You see what happened we'll to Pete? Who? Pete had a, a baby zombie villager riding a chicken. Yeah, I heard and about that. I didn't see it. suffocated it. Yeah, I, I mean, I would, I wouldn't put it that way, Tyler. Otherwise, terrible things would happen. Anyways, so come up here. This is a good I way to see. Did. So this is kind of like wow. the general structure, only the scaffolding and stuff, really. But um, you, you have access to the top of the towers from either of those two towers on the sides, and all that good stuff. And now this is eventually all going to be filled in in terms of where these little scaffoldings are, like going to be walls. Um, sort of. They actually will change shape a little bit. It's it's going to be hard to explain until I actually do it, but yeah. They, there will Jeez. be some flushing out. But that's that. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. And then I'm I guess allergic we'll... allergic to beautiful buildings. And then we'll... I'll show you the throne, because that's the only thing in the keep really worth mentioning. Well, I guess... Yeah, that's, that's the only other thing really worth mentioning, I guess. It's all worth mentioning. Yeah, throne room. Alright. I'll eventually nice. fill this Look in at with that. Yeah. I'll eventually fill that in. You know what you need? You need to put a boat right here. Sit oh, right in. There's gonna be there's plans for this throne. Uh oh. <laughs> there there are plans. <laughs> now what does this lead to? Alright, so this one goes downwards to the mining area, which isn't really much to talk about. There's also my beacon down there, but if you go upward. What's the area of of uh, beacon with maxed out blocks. How many? How far away does it go? There's a couple of weird mechanics about beacons. I'm still investigating. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what the actual range is, but yeah. Are you still going up? No, I, I, I jumped off of the second floor. There's nothing oh, there, oops. though. So keep, keep, no, keep going. Oh, okay. The third floor is where maybe, well... Is this the third floor? Yeah, that's the third floor. Wow. So... You know, I peeked in at a couple streams while you were building this. Yeah, this one we have like the 400 levels of enchanting done. All the books that resulted of it. Nice. Was that was that useless to you? Um, the little area I made in the hallway? No, that's uh, actually quite nice. Right, actually, wait. truth be told, it did something inadvertently that I've been meaning to do for a long time. Which is, zombie pigment don't like spawning in light, even so. So, it when you lit it up, it actually protected the area a little better. I've been killed there several times, so it's actually nice not to die there anymore. Oh, good. Yeah, so it, it actually served a completely like different purpose that was like legally legal. Yay! Best. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but um, in terms part? of enchantments and stuff, that was we did this before the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. And here uh, it is. Up so here. we're gonna eventually have a crystal up there. 
It's going to be made out of sea lanterns, so it's going to be like this white crystal, and then I, you can't really see it all the time, but if you look down, you can see the beacon coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's in 1.8.1, like, they fixed that. Yeah, yeah, but unfortunately not, so this will, like, it's going to look like it's going into the crystal itself, which I think is going to be nice. That will be cool. All right, and then we're going to go out to the little overlook here on the water. Wow. How long have you been working on this? I actually haven't worked on this in a long, long time. I did this in like about a day. All of this? Yeah, about well, like maybe like a day or two. Well, I guess how many hours do you think? I don't freaking know. I don't remember. Many. <laughs> yeah, it blurs together at a certain point. Wow. All right, so there's that. That's kind of nice. You can jump down. It's kind of nice to have a little dip. Oh, I completely forgot. I didn't dive off the. Oh, whatever. Another time. Oh, I forgot. I added water here. Yeah. Not bad. All right, and then over here we go. So this is the resource collection area. This is what we we're slowly building up. Oh, you got another villager farm right there, huh? Yeah, this one's actually a little bit better. This one can infinitely cycle, but it's really compact too, which is nice. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, there they take are. Notes. There's a little area down there where I would put down doors whenever I want them to be breeding, but for now I don't need them, so he just kind of hangs out there alone. <laughs> a lonely life. All his yeah. best friends are up here talking. He's just down there in his cart. All right, so we're going to do a top-bottom look, except we're not going to go all the way to the mob farm because that's just the mob farm. Okay. Um, so. I have my mine cart if I need it. No, 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 no. We're not going to the top. Uh, <laughs> That's where I work out next, which is the carrot potato farms up there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, um, so very tippity top. Those dirt squares are going to turn into carrot potato farms. Uh huh. And then that thing above it, that big cube, is my mob spawner slash, like, flusher. And then this Jeez. entire thing has hoppers underneath it. Yeah, I saw. Wow. Yeah. So all of them will just reroute items. And then they'll lead into the next part of the chain, which is down here. Lily, get wrecked. And this is my furnace smelter. Fuel goes into this left one. Can't items wait. that you want to get done is on top. And then this will fill it in pretty evenly. Uh, it'll produce whatever it does, and that leads over there, which leads to stage three of the farm. Stage three. Which is storage, as of now. Yeah, I need to get well, I need to improve my storage. There's actually like a 2.5, technically speaking. There's like the, well, currently a pumpkin farm, but get out of here. But no melon farms, huh? Well, I already, well, you'll see. <laughs> this is the storage area. Okay. Yeah, I have plenty of melons here. Yeah, this is all auto sorting as well. Mm -hmm. So this is linked to the mob grinder. It's mo linked to the melon slash pumpkin grinder. It's linked to the furnace thingy. It's merged into everything pretty much. Wow. So look at that. Yeah. So now are these all within nearby chunks so they can all run? Yeah, this I can actually stay in the mob farm and it'll automatically collect uh, whatever melons or pumpkins. It'll collect the mob stuff. It'll collect uh, anything that's running the furnaces. They're all in the same chunk. So. Isn't it that if you have hoppers, if they load, if they transfer into new chunks, they'll actually load and send through those? Uh, this, that's a weird thing. I don't know if it has changed or not, but that it's not reliable. I think that's a, that's a spawn chunk, spawn chunk mechanic. So okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that too terribly much. I was trying to figure out a way to keep a chunk loaded. Nope, there. chunk loaders are very difficult to do. Would not risk. Would not risk it for any biscuit. Uh oh. Have you seen? Have you seen that crazy teleportation system that uses? Um, yeah, they where they spit items out with dispensers and it loads it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gets very sketchy. <laughs> it gets very, very sketchy. Yeah, especially if people that don't know about it start messing with it. Well, not so much that. Um, well, that main too, issue. I figure. No, not really. No? There's not much you can do to really mess it up, but the main thing is that I think you need spawn chunk access. Uh, well, I mean, I I do have a nice property right at spawn. Well, that's the thing. Is that spawn chunk, though? I, or is that I just so. arbitrary spawn? I think it is a spawn chunk. Oh, really? I don't know. Because it's all spawn protected, so I don't know if you can build there, though. Oh, maybe... I, I don't know if, if all the spawn chunks are protected or not. 
I know that you can't place anything down at the uh, spawn, so. But yeah. Anyway, so that's the storage area. And then there's all linked and stuff, and I have a whole bunch of ores and junk here. Which is just like, I keep an ore form because I think they're nice. It does look real nice. Yeah, because I mean, I don't have any use for any of these ores as is. Like, I don't need iron, I don't need coal, I don't need redstone, I don't need gold, I don't need lapis, so. It's a good and problem to have, Choco. Down we go, and You're then this insane. is. This is my brewer. Oh, actually, you should probably take one of these. Here. What? Ooh, am I popping this? You can, take, yeah, you can take a couple, actually. Okay. Um, oh, Lee, Lee, Lee here. He can take two of these, because I don't need them. Oh, what a guy. But yeah, this one this one just kind of runs. I have to still add the water feeder into here. But yeah, they'll just kind of constantly run. The only thing that you have to actively do is just decide what kind of uh, material you want to be of the base. So this one's currently... Not even set, actually. What the heck? Hmm. What? Oh, no. Yeah, the sugar. So this one's currently on haste mode. So if I were to run it... Oh. This is an interesting yeah. potion brewer guy. It's more condensed, isn't it? It it does look a little more condensed. Yeah, it's, I think I don't know. I think it's pretty simple to work with. It does need a little bit of help at the start, though. And also, I just ran it without water, so lead, 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 it's probably gonna break. Rip. But yeah, it just kind of runs all happy and jolly. If it works, don't mess with it. Yeah, pretty much. I just wait until this makes me a haste potion. I do. I didn't need to actually check to make sure this is still working because I haven't used this in a while. I don't remember what I was doing with it. Looks like it's only making you one. Yeah, because I didn't put more oh, water balls in. Oh, okay. The water balls are kind of empty, but I think yeah, this should give me a potion too. And I think the gunpowder is currently off, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So this should stop here. And then I'll we'll prime it with a nether wart. Yep, trailing nether wart. Sick. All right, good. All right, well, that is it, unless you want to take a look at the melon thingy, or the pumpkin thing. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you've told me that you don't get along, so how could I not? I'm well, like... I mean, it's just a, it's currently used for pumpkins, but, uh... Is this it right here? No, yeah, that's the item sorter. It's this thing right here. Oh, okay. This is the pumpkin setup. Slash melons. But I turned off the melons, because fleep melons. <laughs> what, what do you got against melons? It literally, like, I had so many of them because I left it running, and there's so many more melons that you get per minute that mm -hmm. I had just, I had way too many melons going on. Like, I had, it, it I filled up a triple double chest, and then I just, it's too much. Just way too much. Still too many melons. It was just so many, and I was like, I started eating them, and I couldn't eat them fast enough. I started brewing random stuff with them. I can like, nether warts were running out you before. You can never have too many melons, Choco. You can absolutely have too many melons. No. They're yes. great. No, they're freaking awful. They're the spawn <laughs> of the devil. Like, actually makes me cry every time. I actually don't... I think I burned them all. Wow! Oh, no. There's. I left some here. I left some survivors. I can't wait to make my trash bin. I'm probably going to do that in an episode pretty soon. Oh, my God. I just... I still remember when I was making all these melons. Like, never again. Oh, wow. That is... They, uh, it's a lot of melons. Yeah. And that's after I burned, like, like, a culling of, like, three double chests, and, like, I can't do it anymore. A melicide? Yeah, like, it was actually just awful. Like, it was... I cry every time. She just made a giant melon testament to its greatness. <laughs> it's that's the problem. I have so much crap to build. This is still, like, 5% complete. <laughs> this is 5%. I'm so fleeping, like, nah. He doesn't want any more project. Yeah, it's literally like, oh yeah, you know how you're working on this? Well, you also have to complete the iron farm. Oh wait, you also have to complete the potato carrot farm. Oh wait, you need to... Nah. Here I am, can't even get a roof on my house. I mean, I don't really have, like, my building honestly is pretty crap at the I, moment. I noticed <laughs> you, you like stone brick. You're very privy to stone brick. Well, the thing was I wanted to keep it as, like, legitimately medieval as possible. Uh -huh. So I'm like, it's like, yeah, maybe they would use, like, smooth stone as well. I could use cobble, but cobble makes me sick. Like, yeah, too much cobble. Cobble's good in little doses when you use it properly. Oh, Tyler. 
So as I see cobblestone walls, you have no room to speak, sir. No, no. You see, like there's those like little, uh, the little yeah, edges. I see. Yeah, they're all there's like cobblestone stuff there to texture it, but it cobblestone and I are we're very close. We're very very close. I consume. I can assume so. You must have got heated up with a lot of it. Ooh, one last thing. Sorry. One all right, last no problem. Ocean of swiftness. Yep, yep, yep. Right now, I completely forgot to show you what my side project was. Uh oh. Let's see the damage. Because I don't think you've. Have you seen it? Uh, probably not. Have you? Oh, okay. Uh oh. Wait! Does it have something to do with a mega taiga biome? No. Okay, then never mind, because I did happen across a portal that took me right to the world border slash a mega taiga biome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I was trying to find Balam to make your yeah. freaking choco. <laughs> I I knew that was going to happen to somebody. I was like, I really should patch I went up. so far, and then I just end up, I don't even know where. It took like three minutes to sprint down that. Yeah, that's that's my beat. <laughs> it's all good. That's funny. Uh, I was just like, cause it's the the real place to go is so close. I was like, yeah, surely people would check that one first. But I was like, someone's eventually gonna make the wrong judgment call. I've learned my lesson. I just assumed it'd be like, oh, it's probably the furthest one. That would make sense. <laughs> we cry every time. Every time. Then we'll just take this. Clear the way. Oh no! No! Oh! All right, that's your cart. Oh yeah, I have another cart for you actually. If you want to. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna leave it right in front of the, another portal. The Tyler bait. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Wait. Hmm. Yeah. No. It is this way. Okay. I think it's this way. <laughs> huh. Wait, is it? I really hope we're going the right way. I hope I'm not going to the Mega Taiga biome. No, this way isn't the Mega Taiga. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. There's a really abrupt left turn. Hey, man! Ah, uh, what do you want? Actually, give me potions of swiftness. You should be destroying me right now. I don't have any potions of swiftness. What? Ah! I ran out of food! I ran out, out of food, too! Uh -huh. uh, no, I think that was me. No, nah, no. Nah. Man, right. now what is and this? Oh, the oh yeah, the the emptying of the great temple. Yeah. You know, I saw something real interesting uh, recently where apparently there's a, a real fast way to empty out. That's this is hot. Is with giant nether portals. I'll send you it. I'll send you a link to it. But there's like a way to like build a series of giant nether portals to like almost cut the drain time by like 50% or something. But this is hot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about. They replaced the sand walls. Yeah. But then if you do that, it's going to clip the actual building though. Which is kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Man, it's restored. All the outsides of the ocean monument are restored now. The uh, insides are pretty intact for the most part. They're cleaned up a little bit, and some of it's dried up, and not all of it. Yeah, it's got a long way. Hey! Scary. Guardian, oh. immediately. Yeah, they are uh, pretty angry because they don't have many spawn points left. <laughs> the first thing you said to me right after hello was, eat my beam. What? Wait, do you still have a... Do you still have the Elder Guardian in here? Mm, it's a rip. Ah. I'm actually, that's why, I like, I would like to have the other far, or the other, uh, farm rip my life. Uh, the other, uh, water temple. temple. Yeah. Because I have plans specifically for a couple things. Because Minecraft science e stuff, and I still have to make my full vault, which is still under production. Oh, boy. I cry every time. I want an Elder Guardian for my mom museum. Hmm, <laughs> good luck with that. 
Yeah, I know the trials that will be involved in getting that. No, to it's more of like find a ocean monument that has one free. One day we'll get that world border removed. One day. That would be the dream. I would. I 100% support that idea. Like, just can't anymore. It's can't. Yeah, me and the world border uh, had some bad times together. Yeah, but you deserve that. I don't want to hear it. Uh, oh, don't you even act tensions. Like you're not going through that portal first. Ah, hey, all right, fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang it! I always get whacked every time I come back through the Nether too. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. That must be a one point eight thing. See a scrub. Uh, why am I so bad at this? Eat. I'm gonna have time to eat too. And my free space bar just breaks. Left handed master race, I use right control, son. <laughs> Come on! You are like light years ahead of me. I just ate double. Lee, 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 lee. Oh. Uh, my face when I really should have just brought. I'll take dirt, man. I'll take it. I consider this to be a resource that I'll actually keep. <laughs> dirt comes uh, real difficult for you, huh? No, not really. I'm just a hoarder. <laughs> like, I would love to tell you it's otherwise, but I'm just a hoarder. I can tell. You got a lot of everything. It's a project. I don't actually have that much of everything. I have a fair bit of some stuff, but not that much of everything. Oh, do you need lapis, by the way? I've got lapis. Yeah. I've got this a good shirt. Oh jeez, <laughs> no, I'm I'm fine, thank you. You've, you've given me more than I could have ever imagined I would have gotten today. All I'm missing is your undying affection, but I understand oh. that comes with time. Uh oh, I mean that's close. Books? Yeah, you say you needed books, right? Oh, you know what we could do? What? Mm, actually, eh, no. Well, I'll save that for another day. We'll see. I might be making a whole bunch of books in the near future. Uh oh. Well, you know, I could use them for my museum. Well, how many books are you needing? No, I was I was totally kidding. Oh, because <laughs> I have a lot of yeah books are uh yeah yep. Wow, guys, I'm not gonna kill Tyler. What kind of monsters are you? I'm just gonna leave, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, that's gonna be it for my episode, and I don't know if Tyler, you're gonna do yours now, but uh, yeah, I'll be it for mine as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to our channels if you enjoy the Minecraft content and all that good stuff. We all post some interesting things here and there. Tyler has a good mm -hmm. variety on his channel. Thanks. Same with Choco and for anyone watching on my end. No flip that. We do building here 24/7. <laughs> flip. <laughs> <clears throat> it's actually not too far from the truth sometimes but comment down below as well kind of letting just let us know how you enjoy this episode kind of like laid back chill stuff because nice that is tour. a course, great feedback for us yeah i i enjoyed the tour it was nice to be able to share my home with you now if you'll excuse me i've got some pigs to experience oh wait have you never run through this one huh i haven't but i was, I was, like I was kidding oh go ahead Whoa! Hey, no, look up. Look up. Look at me. Look what? at me, Choco. You're below me. You're below me. What? Dang it. I'm 120% I'm, I'm above you. Not on my screen. I'm very tempted to punch you from above so you can see me being above you, but... Are you sure? I'm 100% I'm positive you are below me on my screen. Uh, but I can't see anything right now. Like I'm surprised <laughs> I'm still on this ladder. That's because you're you're literally on my butt. <laughs> no, I see yeah. your beak. No, you're on my butt. <laughs> you're on my butt. Now I'm above you. What uh, you gonna do now? Come on, I need to get you a snowball. Actually, I'll give you a whole bunch just in case, because some people have issues doing it the first time. All right, so sit in the cart. Okay, uh, I will. Alright, and then here's some snowballs. Okay. Now what now, do I do? At the end of the track, there's gonna be a zombie pigman, so rage a lot. Do I hit this lever? 
uh, well, whenever you're ready, but you're going to throw the snowball at him, and then mm -hmm. you just, yeah. Just like Got that? It? Yep, just hit him with the snowball. Where we track. go. Wow. Here we go, boys and women. The moment I've been dreaming of. Hmm. Whoa, and it begins. Mm -hmm. You're actually going to get double rates because I'm here right now. What, what does that do when you're here, too? The mob cap. I think the mob cap adjusts for the number of players that are around. So they, oh, really? The game thinks that there's supposed to be more big men for the number of players. Wow. I think. That's a very large, I think. Oh, I didn't right, even so. set you back. That's a lot of pigs right there, to be honest. Look at that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm at level 23 right now. Yeah, you're going to have to wait for another two repetitions. So one more back, and then one more two and back, and then you're just going to go into the regular form. All right. I look forward to this. Whoa. That's That sounds great. No wonder you're always up here. I haven't been up here in almost a week. Oh, really? I haven't been up here at all. What have you been working on on the server? I always see you on. I figure you're at the farm. I'm at the uh, mob grinder or the iron farm. Oh, okay. So... Mob grinder, I just I have like three double chests of like a whole bunch of crap. Oh boy, I see it coming. Yep. And then all the experience. All the experience. Look at yeah, that, it's even trailing. There's just so much. Yeah, and then you're kind of in full swing now, so now you just keep on getting more and more and more. It's quite nice. Wow, look at that. Am I gonna <laughs> am I gonna have trouble leaving this farm once I get off the cart? Are they gonna all be after me? Mm -mm. How do you yeah, die? I see. Yeah, grows isolated. You die sometimes, don't you, when you're up here? Uh, f very seldomly now. It's extremely unusual to die on this farm now. They've added vents everywhere, so it's it would be very difficult to die on this farm now. But. Yep. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on YouTube. Bye. All right, and thank you guys so much for watching on my end as well. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>